Mm. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again, preparing to have my nugget session. I want to thank you so very much for stopping for this post for whatever reason, title, something going on with you, and you, the subject matter interests you. It is my hope that whatever reason you stopped for, that you are fed quite well. Today, I want to take you uh, down the lane with me in hopes that sharing that with you will be instrumental in enabling an understanding of the situations that we endure every, every day. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, just a minute. I wanted to adjust that uh, mic there, hoping that uh, get picked up well. Anyway, as I was about to say, you know, your president, Trump, his candidacy of hate caught on quite well, like wildfire in in fact, you know, all the haters and all the racists, they all rose up. They started going to and fro, looking to start some havoc, to destroy something. They started bombing churches, mosques, and uh, synagogues. They started bombing rallies and driving over pedestrians. They started slaughtering children in schools, on playgrounds, killing unarmed blacks, demonizing the political parties and the press and anyone whose truth is real not alternative, divided the nation and questioned by the world and at the same time ignoring every effort to be contained. When I ran for president in 1988, I looked for all the people, just like they came out there for Trump, all the haters and stuff like this. I looked for all the people that were hungry for peace, all the people that were hunger for prosperity, who were hunger, who were hungry for freedom, who were hungry for a joy of life, a fulfillment of their dreams. I had a hope that they would all come up out of the woodwork. I expected everyone that wanted the best career possible, everyone that wanted the best health care from the womb to the tomb, Everyone that wanted education unlimited and unrestricted. Who wanted shelter and food and clothing to be assured for the rest of their natural lives. All of those who wanted transportation of choice, who wanted a renewed infrastructure, who wanted as much leisure and vacation time as desired. I expected those knowing that such a project would be very, very important 
in the elimination of lying, of cheating and stealing and killing and hatred and bigotry, racism and slavery, terror and war. I anticipated that all those that testify as children of God to act and to serve as a foot soldier. The strategy was to introduce a new way of doing things, a new way of business in our society. Turn from the selfishness and turn to selflessness. And this, with the citizens representing themselves, taking back their power that they had given to representatives. And now they would be engaged, everyone, in the creative process of production. Everyone in the creative process of production, establishing, yes, establishing a partnership with all the people, with all the people, all of you, as co-owners of all the goods and all of the services produced for the benefit of the people of this country. You know what that says? That says that every last one of us, every last one of us at 50 category of work, working in a, in a career of your own choosing, engaged in the creative process of all of the things that we have determined are essential in our country. We are building them. We, all of us, are building them. We're just building them, ladies and gentlemen. And the, the, the production, the goods, the services that we have determined are essential are important for our lives. Built in such an abundance that nobody would be without any of them. And they take from it as they need, want, or desire. Why? Because everybody are co-owners in it. You work together to do it. And it's all yours. My God. Well, that was the idea. This was a process of enabling each, as I stated, to be co-owners to receive of these goods and services as need and want and desire dictates. And it all as a benefit, all as a benefit. See, you didn't just come on this earth to be here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you this because you need to know it. You came here for a purpose. And each of you got that inside of you. I mean, some of you know it. Some of you don't. Most of you don't know what it is that you are here for. But you do know that if, if you got a shot at it, somebody took, got out of the way and said, well, look, be whatever you wanted to be. And they weren't just talking. You think about it. And it wouldn't take you long to come up with whatever it is that you want to do. And that is what you came into this earth to do. To really put your hand. Well, you had to grow up. You had to learn from us. From your parents, from society. I'm telling you stuff I know you already know. But you had to learn this stuff from us. But we were supposed to teach you right because we were going to be living right. We weren't living right. We didn't teach you right. The world is like it is today. But we're trying to get it right, right now. Because we're not on the path of writing it without what I'm telling you today. We're not on the path at all. So, what I'm basically trying to say to you, when it's all said and done, is that I did run for president in 1988, and I offered you your dreams. I know what you pray for. I used to be in the pulpit, and you used to come and say, Brother, could you pray for me? I'll call you up, and let me pray for you. And I heard your whole stories. I know your whole stories. And all of your stories are basically the same. You want love. That's what you want. And so 
I prayed for you to receive love, but I learned that that wasn't the way for you to get love. The way for you to get love was for the, you to wake up. Right now you are asleep. You have been taught in your daily life everything against love. You are taught selfishness. Selfishness negates all you can get about love. The more selfish you are, the less loving you are. The more you got, you can bet your last money. And you less loving too, unless you found it. And if you weren't less loving when you found it, by the time you got it and realized it was yours, you became less loving, baby. Why? Ah, that's just the way it is. No, it's deeper than that, but I'll just say it. Leave it like that. <clears throat> so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that when Trump came in, and then all that attention he got. When I came in, talking about all of those things you've been praying for, nobody said anything. And you've been living all the way up until Trump came in. Now, <clears throat> the truth of the matter is, you are living, this nation is corrupt. All nations on earth are corrupt. They are corrupt in the fact that they exist. Corrupt in the fact that they're designed to keep you from what I'm telling you. To keep you from the world, the life that I'm telling you about. That's what they're designed for. <clears throat> See, in order for you to live the life that I'm telling you about, you have to put your faith in God. God. You can't see, can't touch, can't feel, but you got enough faith to believe that God exists. Why? Because you exist. Why? Because you're not falling through the atmosphere. You're on earth. Why? Because you got all these senses. Why? Because you know you are limited, so you put no man above you who are all limited. And whoever is responsible for all this existence, it seems to be, you can't say it's not limited, but you know you're not limited within these limits that we have. And the way that things are done, we just rather trust God. And so since we trust God, we're going to give our own representation, stand up for what we know to be right. We are not going to worry about what you think. We're not following the group. We're not following the team. Unless the team is with God. Because our following and commitment is to God. That is to treat everybody right. Just like we want to be treated. Stand up for anything that's messing over anybody. So. That's the basic message now. That hasn't been happening in this country. Republicans and Democrats continuously have been offending people. Yes, you have told us that we were the greatest on the earth. You have told us there's never been anything greater than us. You have told us that. Now I know, when, since Trump has been talking, and I've seen him tell lies, and then I see people come right behind him and, 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 and recite that as truth. So I know how vulnerable the mind is just by watching that. <clears throat> but I do know one thing. Nobody has taught you about love. Nobody has taught you about being decent. No, I'm talking about real decent. I'm not talking about that decent that they permit you to have. I'm talking about the real decency. So when I think about what Trump is doing, and I'm thinking about even at this late Date after everything that's being said and done, all of his stuff is coming out, and you know it's true. And it's so true that he's trying everything he get, everything he possibly can to keep you from seeing how true it is. And and you falling for the fact that it might not be true at all, boy. You see, you see how you see you see you see how you are. How can you be like that? I mean, now that tells, that says you're not doing any thinking at all. You let somebody think for you, you believe it, and it doesn't matter if they're wrong, then that's them. You wasn't you. It was them. You just following them. Boy, you are, you are something else. <clears throat> well, if you can do that, I still know why it's hard to trust uh, something you can't see. But anyway, this is what it's all about. I really, ladies and gentlemen, I really thought you would call in. I really thought that you would be so happy <laughs> that your dreams could come true. No one could have convinced me. Oh, yeah, I've seen things. I mean, I understood things. I am a social scientist by trade. But you could not have convinced me 
that when it's possible for peace to exist between we, the citizens, one another, and between the races and between our nation and other nations, when it's possible, who wouldn't want it? <laughs> well, many folks. So why wouldn't they want it? Well, peace might cause them more pain in other areas. Well, let's look at this. Let's think about prosperity. Who would not want to prosper? Prospering means that your life is not being wasted. It means that you're progressive, you're going, you're moving on. Everything is on the good foot. Who wouldn't want that? So it seems as if unless we would all want that, then we would all try to make sure that we could have that. And why wouldn't someone, why would someone want to stop that from happening? I can't think. I can't. I can't think of anything. On the other hand, freedom. Do you know what it means to be free? No, you don't. You think you do. You got no idea what it means to be free. Why I say this? Because every day of your life since you have been on this earth in the United States of America, or any place on earth that you have ever lived before, you have done so in bondage. You've done so under the rules that have been designed by maybe an individual or a group of people that says how you must conduct yourself in this locale. And it has nothing to do with your freedom. It's telling you how you're going to act around here. So what if you want to walk around with your shirt off and it's against the law? <laughs> Is that freedom? Well, freedom, my friends. I'm talking about real freedom. Real freedom has got to be built on the foundations of love. Real freedom has got to be built on the foundation of respect and understanding and friendship and brotherhood. That's the only way you can have real freedom. Otherwise, your bigotry is going to be caught up in everything. But anyway, we're talking about eliminating all that kind of stuff. And so, you got your joys. Your joys. Who? 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 who, who? They say, oh, I'm so tired of living. But who wouldn't want to experience joy in their lives? Joy. Pure joy. And your dreams coming true. Man, look, I'm just repeating this stuff over, over to you. So, I'm saying, this is what you want. And it's not going to come to you. You're going to have to create it yourselves. And I was got several videos that will explain exactly how that's done. 